Hey guys and uh, welcome back to a new video. So uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about my goals in life and also things I need to work on to like get to the goals and just in general that I need to work on. So I chose this because I asked you on Instagram and this topic got the most votes. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. So my goals in life, I'm gonna start off with that. So there are bigger and smaller goals in my life. Different goals in different areas. So like in my fitness, I have different goals and then in general life, I have other goals. Like I've got a lot of goals, but we are going to focus on fitness, but I'm going to tell you about the general goals that I have. So in general, my goals in life is to travel a lot, get married, have kids, have a work I love doing. And yeah, that's like my big goals that I have, but like then there are the smaller goals that I have, like in fitness. So in fitness, I have a lot of different goals, but they change a lot and my goals in life also change a lot. But those goals that I told you about, I think it was four, uh, four main things that I really want in life. Then there are the more specific goals that I just want for my well-being that I know will help me get a better life. My fitness goals are for like, I want to get stronger, I want to learn new skills, and what I mean with getting stronger, I mean always improving, but I'm more just like striving for that. I'm trying to get stronger all the time, because that's the thing in fitness that I always I've gotten a little bit annoyed at when I am not strong enough. When I have done an exercise and I have not felt strong, that's kind of annoying to, for me, but that's also what's driving me. I always want to get stronger in like almost everything. I know I will not be the strongest person. I don't even want to be that. I just want to get stronger for myself, not for somebody else. And learning new skills. I just want to be better at doing certain stuff. Right now, my goal is to do more pull-ups, be better at that. Having better control in my handstand is also a really big goal of mine. And then there are these small skills that I really want to learn. And that's pistol squat and different kind of pistol squats. But yeah, that's kind of like my goals right now, but they change us a lot. I have different goals, different time of the year and like on summer, I always want to learn some new gymnastic skills or not only learn the new ones. I want to learn the old ones that I have been able to do before, but I can't do anymore. I'm getting older, not as good at gymnastics anymore as I used to be and every summer I always try to get back my like backhand spring and aerials and yeah those are the main skills that I'm always trying to get back every summer and yeah last summer I got it back so like I can do it maybe once or twice every summer and I want to be able to do that every summer so that's something I work on every summer but on winter I don't really have a place to practice it so as you can see my goals are different in different seasons but also just different times and periods in my life goals are different like four to five years ago it was always something gymnastic related my goals they were never like anything about my strength always wanted to learn some new gymnastic skills also a goal of mine right now in fitness has been to try a lot of different activities it has always been kind of a goal of mine or not like a goal but i have always done that that's not something that i'm dreaming of doing it's more like it's something that i always want to do because i usually get bored and i want to try new things learn new things in life and especially when it comes to fitness I think also I'm so interested in fitness 
and wanting to learn more in that area and have more goals in that area because I have always been kind of good at it. I think if you are good in something, you always want to improve in that. People are different, so I can talk for everybody, but for me at least, it has always been like that. I always have wanted to get better at the things I have been good at and the things I have been bad at. I have almost always given up. Or not given up, but just not tried to get better. And there are some people who want to get good at everything. That's not me. <laughs> I have never been that person who had wanted to get good at everything. I've always just wanted to improve in things I know I can. One goal of mine that I haven't expressed a lot about, I haven't talked a lot about, but it's definitely a thing that I'm, I want to, like it's a thing that I'm kind of dreaming of, but I don't know if it's just a dream or it's really not nice or fun in reality. I feel like we always want to fantasize like that a life would be so nice, but I think in every life or every hobby you do, there is a struggle. Well, this in everything we do there will be something that is less fun but i would like to do some work in fitness i know i'm studying right now to become a class teacher when people see me studying to class teacher i think most people think that i will work as a class teacher for the rest of my life which is not the case i am a person who need to switch up a lot like even from the beginning I knew that was not the thing that I was going to work with my whole life. I am also dreaming of becoming some kind of like fitness coach. Recently I have studied more in it, not studied in school, studied for myself. I don't think you need to study in school for everything. There is so much article out there and there is so much stuff you can find on the internet that you can study for yourself. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but that's just one of my goals. Okay, so now I have talked about my goals. And now I'm gonna talk about things I need to work on. So I think we all have something to work on. Always, we will always have something to work on or improve on. And that, that is what's making us thrive in life. Having a goal and having something to work on all the time is the things that really makes us thrive. So. I have a lot of things that I need to work on, but I'm gonna bring up some of them now. Things I know I need to work on to get better in life. I always want to be more grateful. I think I improved in that area so much in the latest two years, maybe. But I also know that I need to like work on that for myself. That's maybe the biggest thing I need to work on. I know we all people are our biggest enemy. I think we should be more grateful for ourselves, be more grateful for what we do and what our body can do. I have improved in it because I have started to see what people don't have. I think that's a great way to see what you have. Not that you should compare yourself to others, but I think everybody does that anyway, so why don't just use it for something greater and see that people have it much worse than you. Always when you feel bad about one thing, think about people who doesn't have even that. Like when I'm sick, I usually get mad because I can't work out. But try to think then there are people who don't even like have legs. There are people out there who can't do what you can do. There are so much things that you just need to see it in an other perspective to be more grateful. So I started talking about being grateful for yourself. So that comes hand in hand with the next one is being more like loving of my body and my soul. These are the things I struggle most with and being more confident. Because when I'm not confident in myself, I will not be confident around people. But if I'm confident in myself, I will be confident around people. But yeah, as I said, loving my body more. Because that's a thing with social media. I think it's the biggest effect on everyone. 
it's the reason most people struggle with body image that's the thing i have been struggling with some periods more some periods less that's something i need to work on i need to be more body positive with myself and i think we all are gonna have our days that we feel so confident and then we have those days we don't feel confident at all yeah i'm not gonna go too much into that just want to say that's the thing i know i really need to work on and i think the best way to work on that for anyone who wonders is to go off social media for a while because that's definitely the biggest impact on bad body image when i was off social media for a while i felt much better about myself and i think also fake it till you make it because when i fake it i feel better also if i have faked it for a while that i'm confident i will get confident one thing i also want to work on is to challenge myself more to be more open to challenges in my fitness i think i don't challenge myself enough in fitness because i'm pretty confident in my workout and i feel like that works for me and i don't try new stuff always but i i have tried to incorporate new workouts now and then almost every week i have some new but i feel like i even need more challenge i'm a person who really needs challenge in life so the last thing i'm gonna talk about here that i need to work on is to find balance between work school my workouts hobbies social media or hobbies are workouts and social media but finding balance between those i feel like sometimes i have balance between them but then some weeks i just have too much work of everything and I don't have time to post on Insta, I don't have time to post on YouTube and I don't have time to do schoolwork, I don't know what's happening, I have just a lot and I'm always stressed. I need to find some more better balance between those. That's the thing I know I need to work on. So that's it for this video. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. In that case, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me. And go and follow my Instagram, it's Becca Adele. Thank you again so much for watching this video, and you'll see me in my next video.